um, Richmond, Virginia. Um, really, it was like family. My family um, brought me down here. My mom and dad, um, they moved here first after um, my aunt passed and then um, fell in love with it ever since. How does where you're from affect your work? Man, um, that was like my roots. Um, my my siblings. Um, when I was in Virginia, most of my family, my brothers and sisters, was there. So they really um, brought me up into art and just watching them and definitely the schools that I went to. Um, they taught me everything I knew today, and uh, I fell in love with it after that. Like that was my only true gift. Who are your biggest artistic influences? Um, my sister again. Mary's like the best artist that I know. She can do pretty much anything. Where do you find inspiration for the pieces that you create? I find it, I feel like it depends on the situation. Um, if it's a deaf case or a missing case, or just, you know, um, helping the community, um, just being a voice for people. Um, I see it bigger than myself. What is your favorite time? Do you find yourself creating at a specific time? Um, the best time really to do my art is is, is really right at right immediately once I get the information um, because that is fresh. I feel like it sinks in and I can um, I can really zone in to the actual piece. Um, describe how art is important to society. Man, art is life. I feel like. Um, Everything we look at, you know, the just the buildings, the skyscrapers, the, the just every how everything is designed, it just it takes a, a piece of something to add on to create something perfect. And art, art is just one of those type of things that we need, as in just just lifestyle, just to live. What motivates you to create? Um, just seeing the changes. Um, I look at different other artists as the musicians and. Um, videographers or just artists or just um, movies, you know, actors. And I see how they can inspire people. And I just always feel like we art don't have a place. And I feel like um, we we should, you know, because it, it just, it's just amazing. It's amazing. How do you define success as an artist? Success? Um, I don't really find success in myself with it. I find a success within helping each other, helping different people. Um, the people is what makes me a greater artist. Um, I feel like my talent can only go so far, depends on the view of the people. So does art help you in other areas of your life? It definitely do. Um, I say like, whatever I'm going through, depression or anything, like if I see whatever I'm going through in life, it doesn't, um, it doesn't really affect, like I can see other people's situations and how greater their situations is to mine. Even when I when I go to funeral homes or barriers, I see that they lost a loved one and I still have my parents. And I feel like I, I take different situations and put it on my own life and I just take it all in. How do you develop your art skills? Um, Really just getting to know the situation. Like if, depends on the person. Um, learning more about their story and just being able to just watch their documentaries or just watch their um, their storytelling or anything, anything that grab any type of information so I can just focus more onto the picture. When did you start taking art more seriously? I'd say right after I moved to South Carolina. Um, once I, once after I left Virginia, I was sitting at a desk and like I said, I, I never thought that art would be like something that I was going to do for the rest of my life. I never thought that art was going to make money or just get this recognition. Um, once I sold my first painting of a dog, that really what sprouted me out. And I was just like, man, I can, I can be somebody with this. What's your most meaningful piece? My most meaningful picture, I say it would have to be Really, all the missing cases I've done. Um, it's more of a collaboration with the missing cases because it it's shown awareness not just to me but to like a bunch of you know family members and just seeing how they you know their loved ones and that 
showing them that, you know, we care for them and we out here still fighting for them. And, you know, we're not, they're not, they're not left behind. Do you know how many pieces you've done in total? I lost count. <laughs> I lost count. Um, I just feel like if anybody out there that want to be an artist or have a dream, you know, anything is possible. Like there is in life that I feel, you know, I've been through a bunch of different situations that I thought that, you know, I was good at this and good at that. But sometimes like God will give you a blessing or give you a gift that comes natural. And I feel like things that come natural to you, it should be the thing that you should pursue. It. Don't do, don't try to like push hard on some things that, you know, that might be a task. It, it's not, it's nothing wrong about challenging yourself. But at the same time, if you see that it's helping people and it's guiding people, sometimes God will show you, show you your gift without realizing it. it's your gift. And it took me a while for me to realize it. And then all you gotta do is just keep doubling up, master your piece. And then from there, you know, just continue, you know, continue stop. Don't, don't let nothing stop. Through my art, um, I've been through, I've been to like Puerto Rico. Um, I helped out a deaf and um, a deaf community. I've been to Apollo, painted out there. Done work for Richard Pryor family, Teddy Pentagrass family, um, T Higgins. Um, I think that was pretty awesome. Um, I recently done a picture for um, T.O. Hanna, and I was glad to do that picture for um, Radio. It, it was it was big for the um, you know Anderson community, um, for you know all everything that Terrence uh, Roberts done for Anderson. I really commend him for it because I done a lot of work for in front of the mall and um, all the Martin Luther King breakfasts that they let me um, do be a part of. And just um, just South Carolina as a whole, like I just appreciate, you know, making it my home. Definitely appreciate it.